tell you the story about Pilandok, the guardian of the forest. And did you know that Pilandok is a Philippine mouse deer? Datu's man was furious. His men had complained to him that Pilandok now lived in the forest and forbade the cutting of trees without his permission. What? shouted Datu Usman, who gave him the power to be the guardian of the forest. At once, he ordered Sabandar, the brave and fierce Sabandar, to capture Pilando. Pilando learned about Datu Usman's order. He thought quickly, then laid a handkerchief across his left eye and sat beneath a branch where a big snake slept. The warrior sent by Datu arrived. When he saw Pilandok, he asked, Are you Pilandok? Yes, sir. Pilandok answered calmly, But there are many other Pilandoks here. I am the Pilandok who is blind in one eye. Perhaps the one you look for can see with two eyes. If what you say is true, challenge Sabandar. Why do you sit in this shade? I am here to guard the royal sash, Sir Pilandok answered, and he pointed to the sleeping snake above him. The Sultan of the forest would be very angry if I were to leave the royal sash on guard. The sight of the coiled serpent on the branch made Sabandar's eyes gleam with greed. The royal sash is now mine, he declared as he reached out for the snake, intending to wrap it around his waist. No, please, sir, protest Pilandok. The sultan of the forest will kill me if I lose the royal sash. But Savendar merely laughed at the feigned pleading of Pilandok. Before long, the snake woke up. It wound itself tightly around the warrior and crushed seven dark bones in a deadly embrace. Datu's man became even more angry. Take some men! He ordered the fearless Somosun kill the guardian of the forest. Somosun came upon Pilanta underneath one of the trees. Again, Pilandok denied that he was the Pilandok who was the Datu's enemy. Why are you here? Inquired Somosun. I am here to guard the royal gong of the sultans of the forest. Pilandok answered and he pointed a huge by the fearless Samson. When you beat it on, explain Pilandok. Beautiful slaves come out and do your bidding. Is that so? Samson's eyes winded in amazement. He tried to grab the gong stick from Pilandok. Oh no, please, sir, entreated Pilandok. The Sultan of the Forest will be angry. If someone else uses his royal gong, he will kill me. So why you let him find you? Advised Samusun. But Pilandok stood firm. He would not give up the gong stick. All right, Samusun at last suggested, you can have this bag of money in exchange for the gong stick. Only then did Pelandok agree and he left in haste. At once, Samusun beat on the gong. As might be expected, the beehive broke in half and let it loose a thousand angry bees. They stung Samusun and his men until their bodies were swollen. 
And that is the end of the story, Pilandok, the guardian of the forest. And the moral lesson is, our hero Pilandok saved the forest from Datu Usman. Bye!